guys, it is Charity Sine, and if I look a little familiar or a, like the same, it's because I literally stopped the camera and started it just to record again. So if I look like my last video, I apologize. But uh, yeah, so today I'm going to be, you know, giving you guys a quick haul and showing you guys what I got over the weekend. And yeah, if you want to see what I got, just keep watching. So, the first thing I got, well, this is like, let's see, I got mostly everything from Ulta, of course. And then I got one thing from Macy's and I got one thing from Bath and Body Works. And that's it. And it's not even a lot, so this is going to be like quick. So, the first thing I got, um... We're just going to start off with the one things. <laughs> you probably didn't get that, but oh well. So I'm going to just go with Macy's and Bath and Body Works, then Ulta, because that's where I got the most from. So at Macy's, I just went and I bought the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation Plus Concealer because it is a two-in-one. And I think this retails for like $30. Yeah, because plus tax, I think it came up to like $30 and some change, if I'm not mistaken. It's really heavy. I love when products are heavy, you know. And then it comes with the little Dofa applicator, which is so, I feel like this is so convenient. You know, you can just pull it out and just swipe, 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 swipe. And then just blend it in. I really like the fact that it has this type of applicator. Let me it's just i feel like it's more convenient and i really think a lot of people should start doing this because i hate the little things that don't come with an applicator at all i hate when foundations do that and you got to pour it out i just feel like it's so inconvenient so i really appreciate the fact that they did this and i'm just excited about it i got the shade 26 amber this is uh this matches me exactly and i love it i'm so happy about this and clinique and this um brand they have a lot of shades to choose from and this matches me exactly i almost got the number 28 i forgot the word they put beside it but it was 28 something and i almost got that one and then i uh tried it out because I don't know why I think I could just eye stuff, but I can't. So I tried it and I was like, oh no. So I went to the 26 Amber and it matches. It matched me exactly and I was pretty proud. So thank God for that, you know. So the next thing I got was from Bath and Body Works, which is a fragrance. And I got the Magic in the Air Fine Fragrance Mist. And this is how it looks. It's so cute and it just, it smells marvelous. Like... Oh my god. It just it really smells so oh my goodness. It smells so good, y'all. I also I also got this one called Moonlight Path. I got this one a minute ago though, but I haven't used it, so why not put it in the haul? This one is Moonlight Path and this is how it looks. This one also smells really good. This one is more of like a night out fragrance, if you ask me like I feel like this one is like a more of a nighttime you want out. I think you would want to get this one. Maybe that's why they call it moonlight. Who knows? But the uh this one this one is more of like a everyday type of fragrance for me. So, yeah. So, now that we got those out of the way, we're just going to go into the things I got from Ulta and I had to re up on my Mario Badescu skincare Facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water, aka setting spray for me. Of course, I had to get more because I'm running low on the first one I got. And this stuff is marvelous. I also use this in my skincare routine, though. Like after I'm done fully washing and cleansing and moisturizing my face and everything i go in and this is my very last step i just spray it all over but it just really awakens the skin and it's just this stuff is great you know like this needs to be in anybody's routine whether it's your makeup routine or your skincare routine you need to have this in something 
So the next thing I got was this Laura Geller Spackle Treatment Even Tone Makeup Primer. And what this does is it creates a flawless canvas for extended makeup wear while color correcting the appearance of skin discoloration both instantly and over time. The universally flattering pinky peach hue adds a subtle soft focused effect to minimize the look of imperfections while delivering a radiant natural skin finish. Skin discoloration, dark spots, that's me all day every day so I had to get it. And this is how it looks, you know, it's just in a regular little squeeze bottle and I'm just excited about it. Like, you know, I really hope it works, you know, because you don't need... When you put on foundation, if you like me, I like my full coverage. I don't like a light coverage. I like full coverage. So you don't want to see stuff showing all through your foundation. That's just not what you want. So I do that and hopefully it works like it says it does. So the next thing I got was this Becca First Light Priming Filter Instant Complexion Refresh. So this, um, it is a lavender hued priming filter powered by luminescence that preps, perks, and perfects the complexion. In a snap, transform your complexion and create the perfect refreshed canvas for a pure healthy glow. How awesome is that? And it said it fixes the five signs of bad face day. Fatigue, dullness, dehydration, puffiness, and fine lines. So I think everybody in America needs this. I mean, I mean, we all have those days, so don't try to act like you don't, because we do. And it just looks like this. It's real purple-like. It, well, it did say lavender. <laughs> oh my gosh. How dumb is that? But, yeah. This would probably be something that I would more than likely use, like, when I just woke up, like if it's early in the morning, because I, I go through it in the mornings. So if I have to wake up early, I'm not a morning person and everything on me is just down bad. So this will probably be my go-to in my morning routines, to be honest. Okay, so the next thing I got was this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is just how it looks. It's plain, so I ain't no reason for me to just show it it's real plain like so um and it just comes with a regular little dofa applicator like everything else um and i got the color 30 cafe this one is like my exact skin tone and like the next shade darker was of course darker than me but yeah i was real surprised because it seems so light but when i put it on me it's like my exact skin tone so this would probably be my like when I'm trying to do an everyday look or a really natural look, this would be my go-to concealer. So um, I got this because I'm addicted to their foundation. So I was just like, why haven't I tried the concealer? That doesn't make sense. So I went on ahead and got it. The next thing is this Lorac Pro Lash Pomade Mascara. You know, it says it thickens the lashes by 250 percent and it says it had it adds shine curl and length okay well that's cool i don't really care for a uh, shine or curl because one i don't really know how i feel about shiny eyelashes and two i feel like my uh eyelashes are curled enough but i do care about length because i mean i'm not wearing lashes so as you can see they real baby like so this is just how it looks It's like kind of curved a little bit, if you can see that. It's kind of curved, you know, so it's like really able to get up in there. Might as well put some on. I already have on mascara though, but why not? We're just going to see how this works. I honestly just got it just because I needed some new mascara and it was a freebie at work, so... I mean, I ain't going to turn down no freebies. All right, so my next three things, they are all the same. That's why I'm saying three things. This is just the NYC Liquid Eyeliner in Extreme Black. Of course, I don't do colors. 
Well, I'm going to get into colors, to be honest, so I don't know why I said that. But yeah, I got three of them. And you're probably wondering why I got three of them. And it's because I heard that they are discontinuing these. And I heard that they shouldn't be. I was so disappointed, so I had to rush and get some. And these are really hard to find near me. You know, they say they're in like Target and Walgreens and CVS and all that. But here, they are not. And when I was living in Orlando, they are not. When I went in Jacksonville, they are not. When I went back to Georgia, they are not, you know. I have a lot of places I be going to visit because my family scattered all over the place. Don't judge me. So I ended up ordering them off of Amazon and I got three because I was watching Miss Rosh Posh on YouTube and that's when I heard her say that she heard that they are discontinuing the uh I don't know if she just said the eyeliner or if she was saying the line period. So and I've been wanting to get my hands on this eyeliner for a while I just always just you know went to elf because that's what I know best and that's what I like and that was just my go-to but then when I heard they were discontinuing I was just like okay well let me just go ahead and get some before they do that so I could finally try this eyeliner out for myself because if you watch any type of tutorial makeup tutorials on YouTube mostly everybody uses this um, eyeliner and I'm just like what is up with this like everybody likes this eyeliner and this next thing I got is a Medibac clearing skin kit from the line Dermalogica and so what it comes with it comes with a clearing skin wash a sebum clearing mask a clearing mattifier an overnight clearing gel and a concealing spot treatment so let me just tell you the backstory behind this whole thing right here so I was in Ulta and you know I was just working so I'm just chilling at the cash register and my supervisor comes up to me and she was just like hey do you want to stay after to get a facial and I'm just like no wait that ain't even let's rewind she said hey I need a favor you know and usually when your boss says she needs a favor or she when your boss coming to you period we all know it's to ask if you could stay later so I'm just like I'm looking at her like trying to give her this look like dude don't don't ask me because it's going to be a no so then she says would you like to stay later to get a facial because there's this new hire coming in for to be an esthetician and she needs a model so i'm just like okay and i've been complaining to my supervisor a lot she already knows how i feel about my skin so she was just like she thought she would come and ask me and they could give me some great tips and things about my skin so a lot of estheticians use dermalogica dermalogica is a professional line and they just went in and they really w did some work on my skin and i'm just really proud of my results because i could see results instantly my texture improved like that was the most my texture improved in the matter of two hours it improved in two freaking hours i was just like wow what the freak you know because they really went in and they did a lot to my skin well they did their normal routines that estheticians do and i didn't know that's i didn't know how good that was going to be so what they said was i could get this dermalogica skin kit and this would be the one the one that they recommended for my skin and she said the lady told me that if i if my skin kept reacting well to this line and to these products then she would recommend me get the full size which i do because i've been using this for quite i think like a few days now and i'm i am seeing results my texture is greatly improving and i'm just excited because if you guys don't know i've been really struggling with my skin lately because nothing has been working so that little you know i don't consultation or whatever i had with them they when they spoke to me about what's going on with my skin one of the things she did mention was i have a lot of congestion 
she said you may think you have acne but that is not acne you actually have congestion and she just went in and told me what it was but I mean I'm not even gonna go into all of that but it really helped a lot and she gave me a lot of info and a lot of feedback about my skin that I really did appreciate I do have some lashes I want to show y'all that um my valentine got me for valentine's day Ooh. so I uh got five pairs of lashes I just I asked for these you know if you ask me what I want, I'm going to tell you. And I was I was cheap, too. Cocoa lashes aren't expensive. They're really nice. Cocoa lashes are really nice quality and really affordable for some lashes. So I got five pairs. I got the style Goddess. I got Coco. I got Marilyn. And I also got Stella and Amour. You know, these are, I would have to say my favorite style is Goddess. I'm not going to show y'all all of them because I was told that they all look alike, <laughs> but I don't think they do. Oh, these, I, I really have to show y'all. I'm going to just show y'all all of them. I don't care. So, I'm a Maryland would have to be, no, no. My second favorites are Stella. Stella is slamming. So... My next favorites are Amore. You know, I'm going in, you know, my most favorites to my least favorites. Amore. And these are so cute. I Amore these. <laughs> so then my next are Marilyn. I like these. These are really wispy. They probably all do look alike, don't they? No, they don't. Because if they were all alike, they would not even be you know different lashes and then my least favorite are coco that completes today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for watching please remember to of course like comment and subscribe feel free to follow me on instagram at charity sine you know that thing that i put at the end of all my videos go do that so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and feel free to check out my last video my eyebrow tutorial you know i feel like a lot of people need help with that because y'all do so just go and that was shade and i apologize i shouldn't have did that just go and you know i really explained how to achieve you know some nice eyebrows because a lot of people do struggle and it was just a quick eyebrow routine for beginners you know so feel free to check that out and i will see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>